What did happen this past weekend that you can explain what happened? Yeah, man, Baltimore? we just we got we got uh, you know taken care of pretty good. You know, I think Baltimore's a great team. They did a great job with us, and we we really didn't do a great job in, in any aspect. And um, I think you know, first off, you look internally. You you look in the mirror and say, where can you get better? And um, I certainly do that, and, and try to make sure I'm doing everything I can this week to to bounce back and have a good game against the Raiders. But yeah, it was just uh, a lot of a lot of things didn't go our way, and you tip your cap to Baltimore. They did they did a lot of things well. Do you bury the tape, or, or do you learn? No, um, you watch it. What do you got? No. Okay. You watch it. You watch it. You see what you, what you did wrong, where you can get better, and um, improve from it. Uh, the the bury the tape things. Uh, you know, it's funny that people always ask that, but it's, it, that's kind of like a older mentality, I guess. I mean, mm-hmm. there's so much good stuff on that film that you can learn from, and um, there always is, and wins and losses, and uh, we treat them all the same. Yeah. So, uh, anything in your first blush viewing that you would quote quote unquote good stuff for you to? Oh, not to much see? good. No, not much good. A lot to learn from, though. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, and uh, what was it like on the flight home? Uh, what was that like for you guys? Because it, it is c- clearly an outlier based on not just this year, but the way you finished last year as well. Yeah, it's, we haven't had one like that in quite some time, and um, yeah, again, it's 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 a good uh, opportunity for us to look inward and see where we can get better and uh, improve. And those flight homes are never fun, especially when it's you know in that fashion. And uh, yeah, it's it's a good opportunity for us to improve and bounce back. Jared, know, I, I w- yeah, I wish uh, I, I I guess we're fortunate enough to say that we're sitting here five and two with with a loss like that, but. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we, we've got a good chance to bounce back this week against the Raiders. Do you watch Monday Night Football with the Vikings and the uh, and the Niners, or were you just you don't watch football when you're not playing it, Jared? Um, yeah, I'll watch the ones that matter to us, the the NFC ones and um, division games. If they're on TV, I'll watch them. Um, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm busy. Sometimes I'm sleeping. Uh, mm. But yeah, last night I watched last night. Then what'd you make of it? Can I turn you into the paparazzi here? Yeah. What you what what do you what do you what, what's your analysis of what you saw? Yeah, it was, a, it was a great game. It was a great finish. I thought Kirk played really well. Um, I thought the Niners played really well. It was two really good teams. We'll get Minnesota later in the year. and um, Yeah, we'll have our hands full. But it, it, it's a it's fun to watch two good teams go at it like that. A couple more minutes with Jared Goff, Detroit Lions quarterback here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, one of the guys I love watching play um, on your offense is Amon Ra St. Brown. How good is this guy, Jared? Yeah, really, really, really good. Um, I like watching him play too, and uh, he's a lot of fun to play with. He's a lot of fun to be around. He's he's been voted a captain this year, which I think is well well deserved by him. He's a great leader. Uh, he's he's a really really good teammate to have, and a guy that I'm lucky to play with every every day and every game. And um, he, he brings our offense to a new level, and uh, I'm I'm happy to play with him. What in particular is he good at? Based on, I mean, you played you've you've thrown her some really good ones, Jared, in your career. Yeah. What do you got on that front? Uh, I, you know, I think his toughness is is kind of the 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 main thing that makes him you know so great. Is he's not afraid to go over the middle. He's not afraid to catch a ball in traffic. Um, he's not afraid to finish a run when the ball's in his hands. Um, and then he's extremely smart. He's extremely um, well versed in, in what defenses are trying to do, and 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 understands coverage and is, understands voids and um, understands space and leverage and that that whole thing. So it makes it you know re, you know really easy to throw to when he's that way. And, um, and then obviously all the skill stuff, he's, he's incredible at his route running, his hands, all that stuff is, is really, you know, elite for a receiver. And, um, he, yeah, he's, he's a lot of fun, man. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.